All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Super Symmetry. You'll notice that uh, base looks a whole lot better. I think this looks very beautiful. Uh, so I have uh, completely redone the base, tore down all the dirt, replaced it with this beautiful stuff while I was waiting for all of our ore to process. It's not even done yet. I keep g coming back with more ore, just dropping it off. So these chests are gonna fill up very soon. This one, in fact, is. Uh, yeah, I need to get more of these guys so I can store all that garbage in it. But we are not here for these things. We are here for actually doing stuff. Let's we'll see about doing some stuff. Uh, we are unlocked and loaded, which is this. I don't know what I said I was gonna do. Maybe centrifuge? Or we are going to be doing something else like this. Let's we'll see what we got here. We got compressors. Okay, that is not important. But what is important is that guy, this guy. I don't, I don't even. I don't even know. Yeah, basically, these there's two of these guys that just tell you that basically stuff is complicated. So we got other sections that cover it. But I don't care about that. We we got visitors, don't we? We got visitors. Okay then. Okay then. I hate these guys. They are very rude. Okay, I'll deal with these visitors the good way. The best way. Uh, they don't want to get in the door, which is a problem, because uh, that makes it really easy if they get in the door. How many of them are there? There's a lot of them, isn't there? Okay, maybe this gun will help. Just shoot them in the foot, should do the trick. <laughs> this is... Okay, then. Is the blast furnace running? Because we got more of them at the front door. I guess we'll see how good our fort is. This is a good test, because I've made this place pretty defensible. Oh, it's not as defensible as the previous one, because the previous one, you could just look down and shoot them and they wouldn't do anything. I also still haven't finished the back section, is this is something I plan to do soon. Okay, let's see here, we got, okay, we got visitors here, we got, uh, well, don't worry, okay? We'll see if we can get them to come over here, this would be really helpful if they would just, uh, come over there. <laughs> this is this is uh this is very interesting way of fighting them. Hey fellas, <laughs> get over here so I can do a better job of fighting you. They they have become too smart. Holy! Oh crap! This is not good. This is very bad. This is not super good at all. A good thing I got spare weapons over here. Pistol. We got this guy bandit vests. Um, I got some ammunition for the pistol. Let's see if we got him at the... Oh, dang. <laughs> I was so close. You know, I don't want to shoot him from the wall, it seems cheese. I want to shoot them from the roof. Let's see if we can shoot him from up here. Hello. Dang. They they got like some, some turbo reflexes. Holy. This thing is so garbage. This gun is bad. Oh, dang. What the heck? It don't even hit. This one is... I hate this guy. This, this thing is so inaccurate. Oh. Hey, get back over there. That's the easy spot where I can shoot you from. Got him. Very nicely. Hopefully they drop some goodies. There's a zombie over there. This side's got glass so you can see, but they can't shoot back at you, so it's nice. But, uh... And this isn't regular glass. This is glass with an X. It's like glass okay let's see here okay there's another one how is he in my wall this, this is absurd it's a good thing I got all these trees here otherwise it'd be dead what the heck what is this guy's reflexes holy Get. <laughs> what the heck ah that does the trick just blow him up that's crazy we we're supposed to be doing work today. I don't know why we're doing this nonsense and, and getting shot at and stuff. Let's get to work on actually doing things. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> this thing looks painful. But this is a robotic arm. And what this is good for is basically it's a cover. But robotic arm is needed for this assembler thing. Which we will be making very soon. I... I don't know much about the assembler. I don't know if it's worth it. Let's get the centrifuge. 
let's just do this. It looks pretty easy. Just some circuits. I don't have enough circuits for that, though. I haven't been making circuits mostly. I've just been doing... Can we just make circuits? Ah, oh, we're missing some things. We're just missing wire cutters and another thing. Where are the wire cutters? Do I have my guys' wire cutters are in here? Yep. Just where I expect them to be. Of course, I also got all the other building materials and stuff we're going to be using in the future, and I should probably dump these guys in there as well. Okay, so this centrifuge needs a bunch of these circuits and that red alloy stuff, which we haven't really been making. I haven't kept up with that, so we will need to make some red alloy. I have made a absolute boatload of one of the things we need. That being motors, which are very important, of course. We'll, be, we'll also be making latex. I need to find redstone dust. I don't know where I put it at. Which is interesting. This is a scenario I did not expect. I don't think it should be any, any of these chests. It should be, uh... Maybe it's downstairs. It's probably where it's at. Nope. Okay, so I got some of this redstone from uh, the crusher. I don't, we just had some of the chest over here for like ages and it was just crushed. I think we got a bunch of crushed stuff. I should probably be able to follow this. This is good stuff. Crushed coal. I could use it as fuel. Ah, you can make ingots like this. How do you get red alloy? I, I don't understand. Is, is making it with ingots worse? Red alloy. Let's see here. Well, it doesn't make a difference, it just requires a absolute boatload of redstone, but red alloy does. Uh, you can s Okay, well, that just requires mixer. I don't think we'll be needing that, though. We'll just- we'll just use this in the extruder. Which is currently making copper wires. Please don't make more copper wires. We do not need more copper wires. We just need red copper. Yeah, so I have made a bunch of copper wires. I have made about, uh, three stacks of these. That's basically just throwing two stacks of ingots in the machine, so it's no problem. Let's see. Uh, can I like that in there? Can I... Please let me like that. Okay, good. Uh, I think I know what our problem is. Why I haven't been making more circuits. It's that we just don't have sulfur. No, okay, we do have rubber sheets and all that. I was thinking we were out of sulfur, and that was causing some problems. Because, uh, ore processing takes forever. We got our red copper cable right there, though, so we'll be good for, like, a few millennia. Boom. And we need more of these boards, but I can make more of those boards. <laughs> it's super easy. And, guess what? I can make more of the actual things in the board. These. I can make more of those. And I could just make more of these. Wow, you're making so many circuits now. We got more than we need. <laughs> so I got a machine casing already. That's interesting. Let's see. Uh, what do we need to make this LV machine hole? So that is that will just take one of these guys, shove it with some steel and all that, and we'll be good. I do got a wrought iron plate. Let's get a steel plate and another wrought iron plate. What is... requires 10 cables, correct? Yes, I think it does. We'll make 10 cables then. We don't have enough for these guys, but uh... This rubber ingots here, these guys, I think we can use those downstairs to produce more... in the extruder. That's why we made that machine. Definitely not because I thought we could use it for uh, actual good things. <laughs> yeah, de definitely not that. Okay, we got both of these, and uh, we're ready to go upstairs, make the centrifuge. What is the... It's ore processing, I'm pretty sure. It's ore processing, it's... Uh, it's amazing. Let's see about this. Throw that into there. Where on earth is my steel plate? There we go. Make this... So I can make the thing. Let's go ahead and get the thing in the thing. Okay, so we go here, boom. A. Then all I gotta do is, uh, just go into this, press that. That is not what I want, I want this thing, yes. Oh, hey, we can already make it. It's very good, thank you. Centrifuge, very nice. Separating molecules. Uh, also, I need the wire cutters. 
so I can hook this thing into the power grid. This thing probably will use a lot of en a lot of energy. I don't know how much energy, but it will probably use a lot. So if you put it closer, it doesn't get as much energy loss. Holy crap! Look how much fluids it can fit in here. It's got a lot of. It's got twelve slides for fluids. What on earth am I doing? How on earth does this thing work? Okay, so what can this do? Tin, tin. Basic centrifuge can pulverize. Okay, it can be pulverized. <laughs> we don't do that. But yes. Uh, let's see here. Dust. High purity beryllium dust can be purified into beryllium dust. <laughs> Wait, was that zincite? Was that zincite? Was that whatever that is that I saw? I saw zincite, I think, is a uh, construction pasta. Okay. Oh, here we go. Zincite from uh, copper. M Stop. What the heck? Oh, so it does liquid and solid. Very nice. Let's just shove some ore in this thing and see what it does. <laughs> this is how you find out. What what happens when you do things? It's uh, it's called science. Just shove some stuff in there. Let's see what happens. Today, comrades, we do science. Uh, let's see. Consider right does not work. Okay. Let's try just a uh, crushed boronite. Let's try about this and see what happens. Nope, doesn't do anything. Uh, well, I I don't know what this thing can do. I don't got a clue. Let's see. Seems like it takes like weird piles of stuff and processes it. Ah, this is what we need to do. So, I'll go ahead and show you all how this thing works. So, you can see, I got this impure dust here, right? I got this impure banded iron dust. Well, <laughs> we can process those things in the centrifuge. Now, this considerite needs to go back where it belongs in the box. Before I do something stupid and throw it in a machine it doesn't belong in. But as you can see, this guy will spin around doing magic on this stuff and whoo, you get twice as much stuff out. You would get one for every one of these guys, but now I'm getting twice the stuff. Potentially, I think. And I'm getting limestone tailings. Which we gotta find out what we can do with those. So these can be sifted for limestone dust. So what are we? We're making a sifter next, but I also want to get another one of these guys. I may also need to get a machine that can automatically craft circuits for me because that would be nice. And also other components that I would love. But this is the future. We're future man. And now we got. So what we need to do next is uh, we need to make something in one of these. So we got chemical bath. What does a chemical bath do? I need to know if it's worth it. Filtration mechanisms. Ah, yes. What is this? PSA covers. Machine covers are critical for you to achieve more advanced automation. They are attachments that can be physically placed on the side of machines. I know what they are. I use them all the time. If you have a screwdriver, you can simply right-click the face directly and even access the cover from a neighboring face. Pumps, robot arms, and conveyors are all components that can be used as covers. For information on their operation, you may refer to them to their requests. The simplest way to explain fluid regulators is that they are robot arms for fluids. Thanks. I needed to know that. Let's get on with filtration mechanisms. Ah, so these are logic. Now, technically, you can get any one of these, it looks like, or you have to get all of them. Dang. But I do need another centrifuge, and, and you're probably wondering, but why would I need another Well, there's this magical substance that we got a long time ago called clay, and we need to, we need to centrifuge that stuff, or, well, mud. So, let me show you. So, this stuff can be farmed for sand, gravel, and clay. And limestone dust, which is wonderful. That's, that is amazing. So, we definitely need to get that. We only need two more of these machine casing things. So, we'll, we'll, I'll get on that, okay? It's no problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. And uh, I think we got enough of the other stuff. The thing we're missing is 
going to be circuits. Now, circuits, we are missing those. So how do we make resistors? Well, that's actually really easy. We just gotta click on this guy and uh, tell him to make circuits. Now, we need paper for that. And as we all know, paper is made... It's a pain in the butt to make, but uh, you can make it pretty easily <laughs> if you just go like... I need to automate the paper setup. I think we'll do that next episode. I I'll, I'll see about trying to do that. You take this... You flip it around, slap this guy with a thing like that. I need more wood pulp, so sawdust is that what it is called? I don't know. Is let's okay. Seems like we don't got any sawdust in there, so I'm just gonna shove some rubber wood in there and see what happens. No, 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 no don't, don't, don't cook that. Don't cook that. We don't want that just becoming absolutely nothing. Got the circuits, I need to go downstairs and make the other stuff, which is very, very easy to make. This will just require us to not put the the steel. Uh, we need, we need uh, like nine of these guys, not like that much, we just need nine, so uh, that's, okay, that'll, that'll be fine. Oh, so this is diferium trioxide, and what is this, just carbon? Ah, very interesting. No power? Are you kidding me? Oh, is this guy losing? Okay. Uh, we'll just... We'll just shove this guy into the energy slot and it will work, okay? And it's all done. All we gotta do is hit centrifuge and centrifuge number two. It is complete. This next episode, we're gonna get some automation going. We're gonna get... Pipes. Things like that. Uh... Also, we will be attempting to automate the thing that I wanted to automate today. Uh, let's see about getting... Uh, I don't think we'll be able to do this. Oh, oh maybe we could. Alright, so I got two stacks of these. And all we need to do is switch these guys out for these guys, I think. And that would just work. Yep, it does. That's exactly how it works. Well, we are going to need more steam for everything. So maybe we should focus on getting more steam instead of turbines and automation and all of that. Oh, my mallet broke, so time for us to finally use these rubber ingots for something. Which is making a mallet. Now, you can also repair tools uh, using certain materials. I don't know if we can repair those, but you make a mallet like a hammer, but just wrong, okay? <laughs> you take rubber for it, and you get a mallet. And mallets can make pipes, like this. I don't know how to drain fluids from this, but we're gonna be centrifuging all these guys. So we can get all that precious mud, sand, gravel, and whatnot. Okay, so I got more, uh, whoa. I don't got more of these guys? I thought I could make more than this, but we don't need much more. We just need 11 more. <laughs> wow. These, uh, these, uh, what are they called? Uh, they're like little metal pillars. They're kind of nice. I like those beams we got going. That's what they are. They, uh, they make these pipes really look nice if you uh, put the beams under the pipe. Now, we don't want to hook this guy into there. We want to hook this guy into here, and hopefully everything goes well, and this just works. But I think it's not going to work because I think I need a fluid output pump. But I do know where we have a fluid output pump, and it is on this guy right here. So remove this. Now, I don't know if this guy is doing anything with, uh, doesn't require much fluid outputting, does it? But I got the pump, that's all that matters. Got the steam pump right here. What does this go- this has to go on the actual bronze thing, because the bronze thing over here is also steam age technology, so it is, uh, it's rubbish. And it needs rubbish to work. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Yes? It does not work. Ah, uh, dang. Bronze hole. I gotta make bronze again. Okay. Okay. This is fine. You know why? Because <laughs> I got, I got, I got electric machines now. <laughs> yes. I don't have to use terrible bronze machines to make bronze. I can use my powerful electric machine. Go! Holy crap, we don't got enough electricity for that. The GUI is so small, whenever I look at this, it looks like it says sus, but I don't- I think that just says circuit or something, it just looks like details, I don't know. And I thought I wouldn't be making one of these again. But it's done, and I think this is what it needs, I don't know if it needs this or not, I, I don't know. 
It's steam machine stuff. Uh, they, they, it's not really cut and dry how it works, but uh, I think you just shove one of these guys into there. No! That is not where that goes. That goes in the hole, I think. Right? Yeah, just just shove it in there. Does it... Does it work? Wait, is it the wrong thing? Oh. I just... Okay, this... I just, I just realized, <laughs> this is, this is so dumb. I just realized how this thing outputs, y you need to use the pipe. You can put pumps on uh, basically any pipe. So if I go like this, that's actually working now. And if I just run back inside, we should see the centrifuge going crazy. I think that's what I hear. And... Answer is no. Centrifuge is not going crazy. Okay, I'll see you on next episode. Hopefully next episode we'll make the centrifuge go insane. For now, I gotta do stuff. I'll see you next time.